Hey, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Daydreaming of Universal Studios Hollywood podcast. I am your host, Chad. I am joined by my beautiful bride of 17 years. How are you doing? Hi. Good. How are you? Doing great, because we're talking about something we love again. Uh, we, of course, are talking about Universal Studios Hollywood. Universal. You know, I try to be so, so strong and think, okay, we're going to really save up and go when the time is right. And then I see pictures again, and it just pulls at my heartstrings again. So you're ready to go? <laughs> well, of we could, course. This was our open weekend, but <clears throat> now, we're, now we can't go. We can't go see what's happening. And, what's uh, happening? Is so there any some of the things holiday here. stuff going on? There wasn't a lot of news this week. But as far as happenings go, Universal Studios Hollywood has revealed a number of delectable treats that are arriving at the parks this week. You want to hear about some of them? Treats like food? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Food, sweets, and specialty beverages. Ooh, yes. Let's hear all the goodies. Here are some of them. They have a holiday popcorn chicken and waffle. Yep, yep. Roasted chicken and brie croissant. Ooh. Smoked brisket sandwich. Which can that always go one good. way or the other. They have a what they call a max twenty two inch hot dog. Oh boy. It sounds like a stomach ache waiting to happen. That's crazy. <laughs> they have a harvest stew in a bread bowl. It's vegan. They have clam chowder in a bread bowl. And they have an English holiday meal at the three broomsticks. English holiday meal. I wonder yeah, what that is. It doesn't really entails. go into detail about that. Some of those sound good. Mm-hmm. I like a good bread bowl. I like a good brisket sandwich. Mm-hmm. Not doing that hot dog. No, no absolutely that's too big. not. Not going to do that. <laughs> Some of the festive sweets. They have a butterscotch pudding jar. They have a black forest cake jar. I don't know what that means. Black what do you think forest that means? cake jar. Yeah. Or bar. Jar. It jar. says. Uh, maybe it's like a mixture of cake and pudding, or chocolate mousse, or something. No idea. I don't know. They have a gingerbread Whoville tree cookie. They have a holiday minion sugar cookie, snow globe cookie, lots of cookies, obviously. S'mores cupcake. They have a pumpkin spice caramel cupcake, a mini donut cup. So that is cinnamon sugar and pumpkin spice, a Grinch donut, a chocolate wreath donut, a Grinch funnel cake, pumpkin spice churro, that I want. Sounds and good. a Grinch cotton candy. I'm sure the girls would like that. I think anything with molasses. So like gingerbread, pumpkin, that's very holiday-ish. That sounds, any of those sound good to try. Well, here's some of the fun ones. We'll start with the non-fun ones. The non-alcoholic specialty beverages. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can still have fun. You got the classic hot chocolate. Wow. The peppermint hot chocolate. The s'mores hot chocolate. And the Grinch's heart lemonade. Okay, on to the fun stuff. They have, these are the cold ones, Winter Mojito. I'm sure you would like that. Mm -hmm. Santa's Secret Tonic. They got Mulligan's Treat. Don't know what that is. Sleigh Bell Irish Sour. Try it. Yep. Grinch's Heart. A Fiesta Fizz. Mm -hmm. And then the hot mixed drinks, they have a spiked peppermint hot chocolate, a buttered rum, and a pear cider. And that is pear it. cider. That's all I got for some of the treats and things that they have going on at the park. But that's not what we're actually wanting to talk about today. We are going to be talking about different types of passes that you can get. And then we'll let you decide what's right for you and your family. But we wanted to kind of go over, you know, there's basically four passes that you can choose from. So we're going to go into a little bit of detail about them. So, Mrs. Day, do you want to go over the first type of pass that there is? Sure, yeah. This, uh, Gosh, all of this is just so mind-blowing to me. And it takes special people like you to be able to do the research and figure out what pass is going to be the best best choice. You have to, There's a lot of... A lot of things I think you have to take into account. Um, And these are all straight from Universal's website. Okay, so this first one is a California Neighbor Pass. Um, Looks like there's an annual season pass. No flex pay. Right, Um, by that, um, flex pay, and we've done it before on certain things. It's just you make a monthly payment. You you have to initially put down a certain amount of money, and mm -hmm. then the rest of the balance you can pay monthly. So this is saying there's not 
no flex not pay. Not on so this, on but this on, there, if it does, option. all the others have flex pay to where there is no interest that goes on it or anything. That's pretty so cool. That is cool. It's a good idea. All right. So this California neighbor pass, annual season pass, no flex pay, $179. Um, over 150 available days, including over 15 weekend days and nine months from selected days. Uh, there are some blackout days. Um, looks like in December, so like December 17th, 18th, and 23rd yeah, through 31st. Yeah, I, I went over so month by month. Yeah, so there's December, January, February, March, April, May, June, <laughs> July, August through August. Looks like you went through August. So there are a bunch of blackout days throughout those months. Um, and what are those blackout dates? Oh, you want me to name yeah, every single mm-hmm. one? Okay. So yeah, December 17th, 18th, 23rd through 31st, January 1st and 2nd, 14th through 16th and 22nd, February 17th through 20th, 25th and 26th, March 4th, 11th, 18th, and 25th, April 1st through 9th, 15th, 22nd, 29th, May 5th, 6th, 12th, 13th, 19th, 20th, 25th through 29th, June 2nd, 3rd, 9th, 10th, 17th through 19th, and the 24th through 23rd, and July 1st through 31st. Wow, the whole month of July. Yeah. That's a bummer. And August 1st through 13th, 19th, 20th, 26th, and 27th. Invitations to special events. These are some of so the So that perks. means that you'll get an invitation to yep, a special those event? Are, those are some of the perks that you get with this pass. Um, you'll get discounts on general admission for friends and family, uh, sweepstakes opportunities, discounted HHN tickets, Halloween Four nights tickets. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, so 10 to 15% off participating city walk locations. Wow. So as you can see with that pass, that's the least expensive pass, mm-hmm. but a lot of blackout dates, especially what was it? The whole month of July. Oh yeah. That just gives me anxiety. <laughs> just reading it and trying to think of, okay, when could we actually go? <laughs> yeah. And that's something I thought about and I was kind of, kind of go over at the very end you know, I guess it would depend on your options. and But anyway, okay. So there's that pass. And then the second pass that I want to talk about is called the Silver Annual Pass. This does have flex pay at $8 a month. So you'll have your initial little, you know, money down and then $8 a month. This pass is $219. It has over 275 days that you can use. There's over 50, 50 weekend days. And this one is for 12 months. So that one that you did is only good for nine Nine months months. from your first date that you use it. This one's 12 months. All the rest are 12 months. I'm going to give you the blackout days by the month. So there's not nearly as many as the last one, but there still is quite a few. So you have for the month of December, blackout dates are the 17th, 18th, and the 24th through the 31st. So if you were buying something soon, you know that... Christmas to New Year's, you're not going to be able to go on this pass. Also, blackouts January 1st, 15th, 16th, and the month of February, the 18th through the 20th, and then the 25th. For March, you got the 4th, 11th, 18th, and 25th. So I think those are all Saturdays. Everything else is available in March. April 1st through the 9th, I'm guessing that would be their spring break, maybe, in California. Um, and then the 15th month of May, you got the 5th, 12th, 19th, and the 25th through the 29th in June. You've got the 2nd, 8th, 9th, 24th and 30th July. You got the first to the, the 24th fourth. and 30th or the 24th through the nope, 30th, just the 24th and okay. then the 30th. A lot of Saturdays are blocked out. And then it That's looks like every convenient. major yeah, <laughs> holiday, um, so, yeah, that was June, right? Mm-hmm. Got July the 1st through the 4th. You get the 8th, the 14th through the 17th, the 22nd through the 24th, and the 29th through the 31st. So, you do have some days as opposed to that first one. And then August, the 1st through the 6th, and then the 12th. So, you get a lot of days there. September, the 2nd through the 4th. You get the 9th, the 16th, the 23rd, and the 30th. Going into next October, you get the 7th, the 14th, and the 21st. 
Next November, you get the 10th, 11th, 23rd, and 24th. And that's it. So other than that, on this pass, you have the same benefits as the California neighbor pass. So everything, you know, it's just a little bit more, you know, and that's kind of how it's going. You went from 179 to 219, three extra months, and, you know, a lot less blackout days. And this is per person, obviously, yes. right? And then there's going to be tax included. Or tax is not included, so mm-hmm. you'll add on a little bit more for that too so this got me thinking though so how often do they or do they ever change the blackout dates or when is this updated do you happen to know that you know like do they update it like every november or i don't you know i don't know about that i don't i can't imagine i don't know how they could update it once you well i guess they could update it but i doubt that they do because once you've sold a pass That'd be kind of confusing, and mm-hmm. you would think you... I'm sure once you buy the pass, you would be locked into those, what you initially bought anyway. But yeah, that's a good question. So no matter what, so say we bought the annual pass, you know, this month, end of November, let's say. So it would be good if it was a 12-month one. It would be good until 23 of 2023. Right. November. Right, and... So it just depends on when you purchase it, so... okay. Well, you could purchase it now for that price, but you don't. That doesn't mean that it would. It, it wouldn't start until the first day that you actually go. Oh, so you can buy it yeah, now, so if you're but if we don't Christmas go till February, me, yeah. <laughs> but if we don't go till February mm-hmm. or April twentieth, right? That's a that's a big day. <laughs> April twentieth. Yeah. So, big four zero coming mm-hmm. up. Going to turn forty. Uh, so that's when it would start. Right. It starts your first day, so you you have to make a reservation for your first day, I think. Well, not a reservation, because Universal doesn't do that, but yeah, that's your first use, and then you'd have a year from there, 12 months from there. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so the third one that I'll talk about is called the Gold Annual Pass. So this one does have flex pay. Uh, This looks like it's a 13-month one. No, it's 12 months. I don't know. Why I wrote thirteen months. Okay, so flex pay twelve months, two ninety nine, two hundred ninety nine dollars over three hundred twenty five days, over seventy five weekend days, in a twelve month period. So the blackout days for this gold annual pass are December seventeenth, December twenty fifth, thirty first. Ooh, so you could go Christmas Eve. Yeah, yeah, I think you can on <clears throat> all of them. Um, let's see. So January 1st and 15th, February 18th and 19th, there are no blackout dates for March or April or May. Yeah. (laughs) So that's pretty cool. I'm Um, sure this is one of the more popular passes. June 24th, July 1st through 4th, 8th, 14th through 17th, 22nd through 24th and 29th. So there's quite a few in July, Mm -hmm. August, uh, August 5th and 12th, September 2nd, October 7th, November 10th, 11th and 24th. And okay. So here's the first added benefit, 15% off in park food, beverages, merchandise, that's a big one. And free parking. Yeah, that's, that's huge. Yeah, so you look at the difference. Because parking is what, at least 25 bucks? Maybe more? I think it's 30 35 but yeah, I don't know what it is right now. But we know that 15% off your eating, your dining, and your merchandise alone. Well, that's huge. If, I mean, you can use the, the example of the girls' with robes, you know, the, the yeah. Harry Potter robes. Yeah. Those are, you know, we you managed to get a 15% discount last time we were there, and that saved you 50 bucks just on that one purchase. Well, and then look at every time you go out to eat. I mean, you, you, every time you go out to eat in City Walk for our family of four, we're spending over 100 bucks. Yeah, it's insane. So 15 bucks off of that, that's nice. Because you know if you go for two days, two times out, just for dinner, you're going to save 30 bucks right there. So, yeah, so um, those are the added benefits. And then you also get the same pen- benefits as the first two that we went over. So, you know, discounted HHN tickets, um, 10 to 15 percent off participating city walk stores, um, invitations to special events and so on. Right. So that, what that yeah. means. Yeah. And that pass, you know, you, so two, so 300 bucks, 299 
as opposed to the Silver Pass at two nineteen. Yeah, I mean eighty bucks more, but the savings alone, it it that, it's kind of a no brainer to me between those two. And well, then, there's so many less blackout dates yeah. too. Well, the blackout dates to me are kind of the the smallest thing for us because we we're not able to go. You know, we live in Oregon, ten hour drive. We're not able to go a lot anyway, so ours could be planning it out. But if you didn't have that, if you didn't want to worry about planning out a specific week or during the weekday or something like that, then. So if you lived in California and you could go, if you were if you were more flexible to go, or I guess no matter where you lived, but if if you live in California, it'd be a lot easier to just to just hop on over and go. There was one guy that I remember talking to last time we were there. He was by himself and he said something about how many times he's been there. Just so many times, but he lives in the area and he come, he would go like every other week or once a week on Friday or something like that. It was a regular thing. I just can't even imagine that'd be so cool to be able to do something like that. That Was that the guy that was the first in line and we were second in line for Jurassic yes, World? for Jurassic yeah. and yeah, he... I don't know how he beat us because we were running. Oh, he was running faster. That's why. Yeah, and then we got told we couldn't <laughs> run. So, <laughs> All right. The fourth pass is called the Platinum Annual Pass. This does have flex pay. Uh, the flex pay is 26 bucks a month. This pass costs $549. So quite a step up. Is this like a VIP? From the 229 <laughs> So with this one, there is no blackout dates. Uh, it is a 12-month thing. It also gets you the 15% off. And, um, of all the food and beverage and merch, this one also comes with universal express after 3 PM. So I, oh boy. this is a big one. I mean, obviously the no blockout dates and the no express. So you get in the other line and you get to skip the regular line after 3 PM and you can use it as many times as you want. So that's an added benefit. Wow. This is pretty mind blowing. I mean, and just to think, so each of these passes, you pay the initial price per person, and you can go as many times in that one year as, mm-hmm. as you want. Sure. Yeah. And then this one also has free Halloween Horror Nights tickets. Free! <laughs> <laughs> and it also has free general parking, and then all the same as the other benefits from the other passes. So if money is not a thing... I mean, why wouldn't you get this pass? Especially to me, the biggest perk with this a free well, Halloween, Halloween Horror, Horror Nights, Nights ticket. You'd want to make sure you'd be able to attend that, obviously. The, the Express after three, also because mm-hmm. when we were there that the last time, that's when it starts to get you know after noon, it starts to get really, really busy. I mean, it's it's I mean, one thing the if first, you're knocking, after the first couple hours of being yeah. there, it gets real busy. If yeah. you're able to knock out a lot of the the stuff early on. That's great, but that's not going to stop it from getting busy later on mm. in the afternoon. And like us, when we like to have lunch and and maybe go back to our hotel room, then you could go back and you would have that. That would be pretty cool. But it is five hundred forty nine dollars, so it's a lot more, especially if you're thinking a family of four. Um, so, yeah, I guess it's just whatever your money is available. But at least it gives you the options of. Yeah, the options of having some cheap options. I mean, $179, yes, there's a lot of blackout days, but there's also 100, 150 days mm-hmm. that, you could get, that you could go. For $179, you can't really find... I mean, what else can you do that many times for that kind of a price? It's, yeah, pretty, no, it's pretty cool. Absolutely, and you could be smart... <clears throat> excuse me, you could be smart about it and, you know, pack yourself some protein bars and just not eat as much food there if you wanted to really try to pinch your pennies while being there, I guess. Yeah. For us, this would be a no brainer if we were closer. Our main expenses, I mean, we'd spend more on gas and hotels, right? But for someone that's close, this is a awesome option, I think. But I mean, I don't know. I think I would definitely get at least one of the passes that has the free parking. If you're going to do that, it just seems like a no brainer to me. Um, some of the other options, if you don't want to get an annual pass, of course, you can do a one day general admission. It's roughly $109. Now that can vary depending on the time of year, but right now, you know, about $109. That's just one day. One day. They also have from time to time when we went, we bought the buy one, get one free. So 
at the time we went in the summertime, it was, I think it was about $140 a ticket. Mm -hmm. And that was buy one, get one free. So that was two days. That's not bad. Um, Some of the other options. Oh, I want to talk about Universal Express. So the prices. It's crazy here. It's not like Orlando, which is unfortunate. Um, And the Express works a little bit different here, too. Whenever you buy this, you only get to ride one ride one time. So you skip the line one time. It's not unlimited. And the prices vary from $199 a day to $309 a day. Whoa. That's just the Express Pass. So Way it's more not... than just a single day ticket. And this is for Hollywood only. This isn't for mm-hmm. any other. Okay. So that's crazy. Huge. Crazy. That's it's so a crazy much. amount of money. And that's yeah. why I didn't get it the last time. I don't think it's worth it. But if you had that. If you had that um, gold annual pass, you well, don't have to worry about it because it's included in it anyway. Well, oh, and then, sorry, not the gold, not the gold. I said that I misspoke. The platinum. Yeah. Well, and also, you know, if depending on your crowd, the the ages of your group that are going, keep in mind that they have the single rider line, and that's something that you can utilize. Um, you know, if you don't have littles with you and i know our girls did that one a couple times they weren't like i think they'd i prefer for them to be a little bit older but you know so they also have a vip experience this is pretty cool it's 349 dollars and it's just one day so it's expensive but you get unlimited express access to each ride valet parking um yeah i guess that's really all there is to it but so basically, you wouldn't have to wait in any line. You could ride the right. rides as many as you wanted. Mm-hmm. As many times. Yep. Hmm. So that'd be cool. I mean, if you money isn't a thing, <laughs> why not do it? Yeah. So yeah, those are just all the different types of passes. And I guess you just have to decide for yourself what makes the most sense. If you're only going to go one time... I don't know. I, I can go you back get and, can you get online and price it out? Like if okay, say we want to go like in April, or if we're debating going in April of next year mm-hmm. or July of next year. I did look, and they seem like they're all kind of the same right now, as far as for the annual passes, where it changes is your single day tickets. But yeah, your annual passes are pretty much staying through the same. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you just have to decide if you're just going once a year. I don't know if it would make sense. I mean, you'd obviously spend more money, but then again, like the last time we went, when you have these, when you're trying to make purchases, that's the thing. You always think that you're not going to go do something and you always, you know, sometimes you say, well, I'm going to save money on food, but that's one thing. If it was just a single person, I guess, or once you're there, it's very easy to be persuaded differently. Let's just say that. Yeah, it changes. So I, I penciled it out and it would have made sense for us the last time we went instead of even with that buy one, get one free to just get an annual pass. One of the annual passes that at least gets you the 15% off of your food and merch. Um, yeah, I don't know why I wrote down on that gold annual pass. It's a 13-month. Maybe that is something that they have going on right now. Anywho, but, you know, with these annual passes, you do get um, invited to special events, too. Like, what kind of an well, event like, would it be? For like instance, a holiday thing? There's or? a big part of this park that's going to be opening up soon. Oh, the Super Nintendo. Yeah, and the rumor is right now, this isn't confirmed, but they're saying if you have one of the annual passes that you might be invited to an early entry on this. Like so a soft opening or something. A soft opening in January is what they're saying. Mm. So that's... That would be cool. That's one perk. Um, and I think that they do that if there's a new ride opening, you know, they'll do the they'll do the soft opening for if you have member benefits. Because on Super Nintendo World, like we talked before, you, uh, you're you going to have to make a reservation. Mm-hmm. It's it's such a small area that that's just going to be the way that it is, and that was one of them that I was reading. Even with that with that top platinum pass, you will be able to make the reservations, but you won't be able to use your unlimited um, express mm. pass on that at first. That's kind of how so all those might, rides yeah. are. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool to know that you would be invited to something sooner than just the general public. I oh, think that's definitely. just another benefit and cool and. 
I would hope that, you know, maybe we would get a media pass if someone out there <laughs> on the on the internet was listening to us talking about this great park. That would be super cool. We could go <laughs> test it all out, report back. Yes. And we will say nothing but great things about this world. Absolutely. Of what would happen if we actually did get a media pass and they're like, you only got two? Would we go? Well, we would have to. Well, <laughs> well, I said that before, but what about the girls? Um, I don't know. Oh, just I've made never. You think. I've, uh, gosh, they'd be so heartbroken. But you know what? They we'd have to pay for them to go. Even, I, I don't even know. Well, I guess I'm all tongue twisted now. They. It's amazing the details that they remember and can report back. It's really impressive. I'm not just saying that because they're my kids, but over the last couple of years going to Florida and going to California, they some of the details that they were they tell us, it's like, wow, you really remembered that. And it's different than what we might remember too. Um, so it's kind of cool to see or to listen to their perspective, I think. So, and they'll say it how it is too. They are not, they don't sugarcoat things. That's for sure. I mean, you don't really sugarcoat things either. I tend to sugarcoat things. I'm trying to sugarcoat things a little bit more on this podcast (laughs) than our other one, the Days Go By podcast. This one is uh, more family friendly. Well, there are other one is too, but there's times where hmm, maybe you don't let your kids listen. You can let your kids listen on this one. Uh, I've listened, you know, when I listen to the UULP, they talk about these media things and some of the things that they get to do during these media passes. They get to try like all those suites and stuff that we mm-hmm. talked about. So if you were invited to the Super Nintendo land, they would probably have let you try all of their food and drinks along with riding the rides, of course. I just think that'd be so awesome. That'd be so cool to be able to be one of the first ones in there and not have to pay for it. Yeah, oh, definitely. That'd be I really mean, neat. Yeah. No, that would be... Amazing. Amaze balls, as you would say. Amaze balls. <laughs> well, that's all we got. So we just wanted to kind of go over this. I see this a lot from people on different sites, you know, where there's a lot of questions about the types of passes and, and what's available. And of course, you can go on Universal site and see all of this, you know, just like what we talked about. But I kind of like hearing it and discussing it and going over and maybe i'm trying to coerce uh, mrs day into getting one of these one of these days but we'll see <laughs> you know if money starts growing on yeah. trees i yeah, think that'd be problem. a great option that's the problem right there i'll just get that second job you know and uh yeah that kind of defeats happen. the purpose second job <laughs> and then we can't go on vacations anyway so that's another episode that we had for you and follow us on facebook and, you know, listen however you normally listen to podcasts, and we appreciate you. Yeah, let us reach out, um, ask us questions. Chad is awesome at doing his research, and if he doesn't know it, he will find the answer to it. So I think that's that's pretty cool. You have, you're very talented in that way, Mr. Day. Yeah, once again, not an expert <laughs> on this park. We are learning, too. So we will have another one out for you next week. And until then, thank you again. Bye. Bye.